Hi, thank you for joining me on my video blog. My name is Tony Fakri. For those of you who have been following my uh, Tumblr blog, I've listed a resource called uh, Life's Principles. And there are effectively 20 points uh, that I felt compelled to write about. And they're practices, behaviors, thoughts, ideas that I've really picked up over the last um, 10, 15 years in relation to health and well-being, personal growth, self-development, self-awareness and spirituality. What I'm attempting to do, uh, to do in these uh, videos is really digest each of those points and effectively present those in a three or four minute video blog. So I've highlighted at least 10 ideas that I'm going to be speaking more about. Effectively, these uh, video blogs are really about presenting about a three or four minute um, presentation on, on, on each of those segments. So please keep in mind that um, I, it's really not about uh, you know, doing a lengthy video, but just to give you a glimpse or a taste of uh, each facet and how to apply it to your life. The first one I'm starting with today is uh, thoughts tend to your thoughts. I've written and spoken in previous blogs about um, you are not your thoughts. It's a very much a uh, Eastern principle that says you are not your thoughts, rather the observer of the thoughts. Now, without the risk of making this sound so, um, you know, up in the air or ethereal or, or, or spiritual, Tending to your thoughts really relates that when you become the voyeur or the, the watcher of that thought, effectively you stop or cease labeling that thought. In doing so, you become the observer. Now, as an observer, imagine you've gone to a tennis match. You're not actually judging each of the players, although you, the tendency for your mind to do so is to say, well, he or she is a great player, he or she may not be a great player. What if you just sat in the audience and began to observe each person and said, wow, he's hitting some great forehand shots. Gee, they've got some really good technical skills. So you're actually observing it rather than judging. The mind also takes on the same response. So in our everyday life, the more we judge, we uh, begin to give meaning to a situation. Now, how does that apply to everyday life? Well, think about your health and well-being. Think about your relationships with other people. Think about things that happen in your everyday life, such as you know, relationships, jobs, careers, finances. Um, a bill comes in the mail and, and you lose hope and, and begin to judge that and think, oh, geez, I can never pay this bill on time. What if you just looked at that and said, isn't that interesting? This is an expensive bill. So rather than begin to judge it, you just experience um, a, a sense of uh, wonder. You, you experience this sense of, well, this is what it is. I'm not labeling or judging it. So this is a very um, important practice for mindfulness. And we can see that in Eastern traditions in terms of Buddhism and the way that they bring the thought to the forefront of the mind by being aware of it. So I want you to begin practicing being mindful. Begin practicing being aware, aware of your thoughts. What are your thoughts telling you? Don't judge them. Don't label them. Just Notice them. Notice the intensity. Begin to, um, you know, take that approach as though you're someone standing at the shoreline watching waves crashing in. Some may come in really violently. Others come in at a sense of peace uh, and leave with such ease. So become the observer of the thought rather than uh, the judger of the thought or, or the judge of the thought rather. Thank you for joining me. Once again, my name is Tony Fakri. For more of these resources, uh, do subscribe to this YouTube channel. I also uh, suggest that you jump across to Tumblr, tonyfakri.com forward slash Tumblr and check out some of my articles there. Once again, thank you for joining in.